Depersonalization Marijuana Story. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Bryce, which was sent in. When this happened five years ago, the drug used was cannabis at a dose of about a quarter of a gram. The right administration was through a gravity bong, gender, male, age, 15 at the time, and he was 20 when he wrote this. Prior experience, he notes, no drugs prior to this experience, not even alcohol, but I have done many since, and the setting was in his room. So this report actually represents a marijuana, first time marijuana experience and some strong uh, anxiety reactions to it. I think a lot of the times marijuana can get underplayed as just kind of a, uh, you know, chill whatever drug, but... For some people, especially first time, you can have a really strong reaction to it and just kind of freak out. And this report represents uh, that kind of experience. So I think you guys are going to find it interesting. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. This story starts in my Spanish 2 class in high school. My friend who was in class with me was a pretty big stoner, and everyone knew it. I had an interest in drugs mainly because of a movie I was obsessed with at the time, Train Spotting. so I often chatted with her about weed. After chatting for a couple of months, I asked if she could hook me up with some so I could try it myself. She ended up giving me the number of someone who could get me the weed. Not a dealer, but a friend of a friend of a friend who had connects. You probably know how that goes. Later that day, after setting up a meeting, the guy drives to my house and sells me a gram of weed for $20. Looking back, this is pretty embarrassing. I didn't know it at the time, but the weed looked like absolute garbage. I 100% got ripped off here. I took it inside and saved it for a day when my mom wouldn't be home. I tried to get a pipe or some papers to row up with, but as a somewhat unpopular kid, I didn't have any connects like that, so I resorted to what I could make myself a shitty homemade gravity bong made out of a Mountain Dew bottle. When the time came, I went home and went up right after school. I filled the bottle with water, placed about one-fourth of the gram in the bowl, lit it, and let the water drain out of the bottom of the bottle. The entire bottle was now filled with thick, milky smoke. Underestimating how powerful gravity bongs are, I inhaled all of the smoke. I didn't cough at all which I found strange. The smoke was nice and cool from the water. I laid down in bed and waited for the effects. The first thing I noticed was an extreme body high. I felt like I was sinking into my bed. It felt like perpetual motion even though I was lying completely still. This feeling was so intense that I started freaking out. The next thing I noticed was that I was physically unable to look in one direction for longer than a few seconds. My vision would droop if I didn't look around. This freaked me out even more, to the point where I was in a full-on panic attack. My heart was beating out of my chest, and I was shaking all over. I start to worriedly text my friend, asking if this weed was laced, or if I was going to die. She assured me that neither was true, but I didn't believe her. I consider calling an ambulance or my parents, but I decide against it. I just lied there like this, for three hours in what was one of the worst experiences of my life. After the panic subsided and I no longer felt high, I noticed something strange. I didn't feel the same as I did before I got high. Everything felt farther away than usual and had a weird quality to it. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I figured it was just a residual effect and that it would wear off. I texted my friend saying everything was fine and that I just overreacted. But while I was typing, my hands felt so foreign. This started to freak me out again. I tried to take my mind off of it by watching TV, but this weird feeling just doesn't go away. I decide to just sweep it off. I woke up the next morning only to find that I still felt super weird. Throughout the whole day, it just felt like my life was fake. It didn't feel like it was me doing the things that my body is doing. If you've ever seen the movie Get Out, it kind of felt like I was in the sunken place. After 24 hours, I start to recognize that this feeling isn't going to go away 
anytime soon. This leads me to have a second panic attack. I just wanted things to go back to normal. I asked myself, how could I be so stupid? How could I let something like this happen to myself? I was already pretty depressed in high school, but this really didn't help. This feeling of unreality encompassed any activity I tried to do. It made me feel like complete garbage. I no longer felt enjoyment in anything. After 72 hours of this hell, I come clean to my mom. First I tell her about smoking, and then I tell her that nothing feels real, and that I just want everything to go back to normal. I end up having a complete mental breakdown and crying on the floor. I beg her to take me to a therapist or a psychiatrist. I just wanted it to be over. I understand how much this sounds like a shitty anti-drug propaganda story, but I promise, it's not. This is one of the least proudest moments of my life. She calmed me down and explained that she's not mad and that we should probably wait a week before seeking help. A week goes by and I still feel disconnected. I pretty much had panic attacks every day that week. My life was a living hell. I had to put learning to drive on hold because I was too anxious to get behind the wheel and my performance in school suffered. By this point, I had already gotten rid of the weed and my dad had given me a stern talking to. This felt like the biggest mistake of my life. I truly believed that I had done it this time and that I was never going to be normal again. However, after waiting for another week, my symptoms started to decrease. It went from being unbearable to manageable. After another two weeks, I felt completely normal again. During this time, I learned about cannabis-induced depersonalization disorder from the internet and learned about people who suffer from it for months after a panic attack. So I felt quite lucky that it only lasted four weeks for me. I didn't try weed again until I was in college four years later and had a good experience driving around with friends. I'm pretty sure what triggers the depersonalization is the panic attack during a high, so I make sure to only smoke around other people that I trust and when I'm in a good mood. I basically just treat weed like a psychedelic and keep set and setting in mind. What's funny is that despite having bad trips on both acid and shrooms since then, nothing has done more damage to my mental state than the first time I smoked weed. I guess it just goes to show that everyone reacts to drugs differently.